But you know what? That's all out of the window because this week we are kicking off a wellness segment with Stotzenberger College, and uh, we're joined now by Candace yes. Collins to talk about massage tips when you are uh, doing some golfing, but actually before you hit the golf course is really important. Mostly to prevent any injuries that are out there. It's prevention's the key rather than trying to correct the problem later on okay. or fix any damage that's already been done from the injury. Okay, so where do we start in terms of, I mean, what to do, pre-stretching, some things? A lot, yeah, a lot of the, the prevention comes from stretching or being able to understand that you don't just jump into something. You want to make sure you're warmed up and that you've had the appropriate amount of time just to kind of stretch and w even if it's just wiggling your arms, tilting your head to the side to side, as long as you're getting blood flow to the muscles, you're definitely going to do less damage. John, than do if you, you stretch before you hit jump the golf course? course? Um, I'm not a big stretcher. Somebody told me when I was young, mm -hmm. it was a hockey coach actually, okay. if you start stretching, you're going to have to stretch forever. Or if you don't stretch, you won't have to stretch forever. No. Because you'll be injured. You won't be you'll having be to play. <laughs> I, when, I golf, when I golf, I like to go to the range and I do okay. have a long warm-up mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. I do a, do a little bit of, you know, stuff like this. And, yep. Exactly. Okay, so, know, what should we all be kinds doing? Of Is that right? Drills, just yeah. to get loose. Stuff with your wrists. Yep. Uh, okay. Stuff working on your uh, hammies and mm -hmm. your calves. Oh yeah. The more majority of the injuries are from the waist up. Whether it's your lower back, your shoulders, your your wrists, your elbows. The main problem that we see with a lot of golfers in general are their shoulder injuries because they're not they're pulling their head up, they're tilting their neck, they're not getting in the proper stance. So a lot of them come in and they say, I've got an ache in my shoulder, or I've got this twin. I won't just it won't go away so that's what we always tell them you know you remember to stretch make sure that you're paying attention to your form your stance especially if you're new to the sport so you really got to know what you're doing to start off with <laughs> as well as stretching even if you're listening to a friend of yours at the golf course who's been golfing for years I grew up in a family of golfers so it's especially for me everybody has a tip Right. Even if it's not the greatest tip, everybody has a tip. Okay, so what's rule of, uh, rule of thumb? Uh, you know, a quick warm up, a quick stretching routine before you hit a the golf A few of the course. stretches. One main one is you want to be able to have the flexibility in your hands. Just make sure you put your hands together, and even when you interlock them, and being able to come out. I okay. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. Really? Broken wrist. Uh, oh. that would be why. And this, all it does is it helps stretch out the muscles in your forearms and in your wrist, both posterior and anteriorly, to make sure you prevent wrist injuries. Because when you hold the club, you're not holding it like a baseball. You're right. not holding it like a hockey well, stick. Well, in my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were I taught mean, the right grip last week. Yeah, week. I was. But it's like all out the window. I was <laughs> trying to remember it. But, um, yeah. You know. um, and another one, especially for your shoulder area, is like you said, behind your neck. Mm -hmm. And if you're standing with your feet about shoulder length apart, right. and as long as you can come across... That is, a, that is a, a good golf move right there. Oh, man. There. Right. <laughs> Definitely. And if you bend your knees a little bit, like in your stance, mm -hmm. you just kind of yeah. get in your stance and you come across. As long as your shoulder and the head of the club come across over your knee, you're getting that proper stretch I can in. feel the stretch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And that's what you want for a golf swing. You want mm -hmm. that uh, kind of coil. That's where all your energy comes mm -hmm. from, the big muscles. Yep. And another one, especially for standing like this, pretty much at the end of the grip, by the head, depending on if you have an iron or a wood or wedge or whatever, you want to be able to just to lean forward and keep your arms coming straight forward. Man, are you flexible? And it'll wow. pull all the way up in your shoulders, along with the back of your legs. Okay. And if you do that, I'm James, did you get a nice view there? <laughs> all right, it's Life's time to wrap right up now. this segment Life's here. <laughs> I'm Candace. Where can yes. folks go for more information? Uh, <laughs> any type of questions, you can call the office. It's 419-866-0261. Uh, you can ask for the Health and Wellness Department, or you can hop on our website. It's sctoday.edu. Hey, right. we want you to come back. Nice job. No problem. Appreciate Thank you, it. Candace. We will uh, continue Wellness Tuesdays next Tuesday, but we appreciate you having Thanks us for having by me. this morning. We will be right back.